Welcome to uh, VoIP.ms first webinar on how to deploy a virtual phone business phone, uh, phone system with OR platform. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, deploy a virtual phone system only using soft phone and uh, OR services. So first of all, um, my name is Philip Tifo. I'm a business development manager at VoIP.ms. Um, I'm taking care of a reseller and uh, businesses and the sales department. So, first of all, uh, who is Void.ms? Void.ms is, is founded in 2007 um, by a group of IT and business professionals who believed there was a better way to bring internet phone service to companies who, like them, had a desire for high caliber communication solution. We are a Canadian based company. Uh, our headquarter is in Terrebonne, very near Montreal, in Quebec, Canada, of course. Um, we have uh, 50 uh, and more employees spread in three countries, um, Mexico, Canada, and um, United States. For myself, um, my personal background, I work in telecommunications since 12 years, uh, and I'm a Bachelor of uh, Commerce in HSC Montreal. Uh, sorry for my accent, I usually speak French, so I hope that everybody's going to understand me well. Um, I would like to know if uh, everybody is uh, familiar with VoIP and uh, VoIP.ms. First of all, VoIP services and um, if and VoIP overall. Okay. Okay. Nice. KB. All two. Good. Okay, so we, I think uh, we will speak the same language. Uh, it's going to be easy for you to understand all the, all the, not really technical, but still. Good. Personal WebMS user here. Nice. Okay. Give me a glance of uh, who is my audience today. It's uh, nice to see this. Oh, wow. Okay. Good. Perfect. So, um, yeah, it's not going to be something uh, complicated for most of all. So, uh, for the other, I will try to explain uh, a little bit of the definition of the feature uh, along uh, the way. So, uh, if you have questions, you can... Uh, Ask them in chat, but we will have a Q&A se uh, ses uh, session at the end. So, after that, a um, couple of highlights on the Void.ms. Um, we are fully hosted services, feature rich, bring your own device, and pay as you go. Um, so, pay as you go means that you pay only for the service that you use. We don't charge recurring monthly fee except for a phone number, DIDs, um, and, uh, and maybe virtual PRI if you subscribe to it. Um, smart and secure auto replenishment. So you can set up um, auto payment in your account and top up your, top up your account once uh, you reach a specific threshold. Um, as it's mentioned here, it's uh, one top up per, uh, every 24 hours, so it's for your own security. We just want to make sure that it doesn't bill you uh, for the usage um, you don't want to. Free porting. Uh, we offer free porting uh, so you can transfer your phone number across Canada and U.S. Um, we also offer reporting internationally. So. Uh, if you have question about that, please feel free to ask uh, when when you need it. Um, fully contractless, so Void DataMS do not offer any contract. So if you want to leave, you can leave. Uh, if you don't need your service uh, or you need a break, you need to make, put it on pause for a couple of uh, weeks. Uh, you will not get uh, fined with a penalty. Um, or payment method, um, maximum flexibility, so you can add fund with Visa, MasterCard, Amex, or PayPal. We also accept uh, bank wire, but usually uh, or uh, customer prefer uh, credit card payment. Also, and probably the most important, we are a fully self-service platform, so you can manage all your services autonomously um, 
and if you require some help, you can ask our chat, uh, live chat or ticket system. Uh, they will, our support team will be pleased to help you out. Speaking of support, we have now uh, a 24-7 technical support for chat, tickets, and email. Um, and we, we have three language available, French, English, and Spanish. So feel free to reach out to them if you have any issues, if you have any technical question. Uh, they're really uh, going to be pleased to help you out. We also have a complete knowledge base. We call it the wiki, uh, wiki.void.ms video tutorial on YouTube, and now a uh, Facebook community group. You can uh, find it on, uh, on Facebook, and it's uh, all our customer community, and uh, they help each other if they have questions. After that, we are a bring your own device company, and also we are certified by all those uh, major brands in the industry. So all those brands certify that Void.ms services will work seamlessly w with the, their device or their software. Um, all there's, uh, all the, those devices and many more um, are compatible with the uh, SIP and they can be used pretty easily with us. And uh, in our wiki, we did build a knowledge base to help you out to configure all those devices, all those so softwares. This is a little glance of uh, all the feature in a hosted BBX uh, that we offer now. So it's um, all of those feature you can build your your perfect phone uh, phone system, uh, virtual phone system, as what we're going to do today. So with uh, all those feature, uh, you can you can build up a phone system without having to have any equipment or fewer equipment as on-premise BBX or, or other. But also we offer sub trunking so if you already have your own uh, BBX, you can build up your, your, your service. We can, you can use this as your, your uh, phone service provider only for your PBX and all those features will be managed into your PBX. Uh, but you can leverage all those features with us uh, it, and it doesn't cost much. It doesn't cost more than uh, using us as a hosted PBX. So, because we are pay as you go, you only pay for the usage you do. Speaking of SIP trunking, so you can select, uh, even if it's a phone or a soft phone, it requires SIP trunking. Uh, there's a difference between uh, hosted and SIP trunk. Um, the SIP trunking will be, uh, for us, will, it, it's going to be connected directly to your PBX. Uh, a hosted phone services will require sub trunking, but we we do the connection uh, between your, your phone and uh, or server. In this case, if you use, uh, connect a sub trunk or a sub account, we're going to see it later, uh, you can connect your PBX directly. Uh, you can choose a pop every, somewhere uh, in all those locations. Uh, it's a well-built uh, network ar architecture. Uh, it's fully monitored at 24-7 and 365 days per year. A couple of security features that we offer. Now, um, two-step verification, call encryption, email notification when uh, the first time you do an overseas call for uh, every country uh, or even a password change or any set of uh, email notification, you can be alert for a lot of things. Um, and it's really useful. For an IP guard, uh, it's really uh, a helpful uh, security feature. It's to prevent any foreign country IP to, from accessing to your customer portal, and you you will get a notification if someone is attempting to do it. Uh, max time time calling, so you can preset uh, a held down max max maximum time of calling. So like this, if for any reason someone uh, is trying to the, the, the call uh, from your office uh, for uh, uh, two hour or whatever uh, you can restrict the employees to to call uh, for a maximum of time uh, and also uh, it, it can be set uh, with a rate per minute limit for your call to international destination so if you don't want some customer some employees to call in various uh, destination and you accept them to call 
in only destination that costs X dollar per minute, X cents per minute, um, you can allow that too. And the allow calling area, you can manage which country uh, your, your phone system can call to. Uh, either it's a Citron King or host a PBS uh, version of it. So today, um, the presentation will be will be around how to build up uh, these kind of phone system. So first, I'm going to show you the basic of uh, Voip .ms portal. I know that a uh, few of you uh, already uh, is already a, one of our customers, so it probably it's not going to be new knowledge for you. But I'm going to going through uh, really just the basic. After that, how to switch your uh, simple hosted phone system with us, completely virtually. Um, maybe the drawing concept, how uh, we think how to build it up in, the, in uh, how to think when you build it up in, in your account. And um, after, and after that, a uh, Q&A session, if you have questions about what we show you today, what I show you today, so you will be, uh, you will have some time to uh, ask me some questions. So first of all, the web dynamics basic. When you arrive on your account, once you sign up, when you did sign up uh, with the sign up form at uh, Void Dynamics, uh, you will arrive there. Void Dynamics portal is uh, quite simple. You have um, all the feature, all the functionality you can access from here on the top. First of all, yeah, the basic thing is to add pawn so you can do it from here once you add you did add pawn you will be ready to go to start building your your, your phone system so I'll just go back really quick to the drawing concept how I want to present it today is a simple uh, phone system for a, like a small office that want to work uh, remotely or even even if they work at the office uh, they will be able to bring all their phone system with them. So how I build it in, in the account right now is a, a time condition call flow. So between business hour, the call flow will go to voicemail and it will have, uh, within the business hour, it will go to the IVR. Once, once it's reached the IVR, it will have three choice, um, one department one, department three, and department uh, one, Department two and Department three, so and it will reach either a mobile or cell phone. A call on thing for the, the Department two will reach uh, either a mobile or a cell phone. And in the third, it's gonna be it's gonna make ring all the phone at the same time, so the mobile and the cell phone. It's really a basic phone system, but usually uh, a small businesses it's pretty much what they need to, to, to achieve with the IVR and their phone system. They want to make sure they don't lose any call, they don't miss any call. They want to make sure they receive everything and uh, it's more important for self department but any other. So that's what I'm going to show you, the structure in the account right now. So first of all, the time condition. Time condition is a feature that allow you to to direct a call uh, about uh, regard uh, w with with the business hour. So in this case, between nine to five from Monday to Friday, if if it if it's the the good criteria, uh, it goes it goes to the IVR. If not, it's gonna go to the voicemail. But it could it could go to a cell phone if it doesn't match the criteria. It can go to another uh, ring group of your choice if it's uh, some somebody uh, that's on 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 on, on after shift. Uh, um. So it's really flexible. It can have a extra criteria. Um, usually, it's really simple for a business. They do nine to five. Monday to Friday, or Monday to, Monday to Sunday, or Monday to uh, Saturday, uh, I would say. So it's it's really flexible. It helps you to manage uh, your call flow 
So if somebody is calling uh, outside of the business hour, they don't they don't wait uh, to to the IVR. They don't listen to all the uh, IVR choice. It, it, it's worthless because uh, they don't they will not speak to anybody. It's going to go to uh, voicemail, and the voicemail the greeting of the voicemail will show uh, exactly will, will tell exactly to the caller uh, that uh, the business is closed at, at this time. So it's it's really uh, it's why it's. Uh, Person, uh, it's really relevant and also uh, it's uh, flexible. So after that, because here in the main greeting, uh, it goes to the IVR. So once it's reached the IVR, as I said, we have three choice. First choice, it's a call forwarding. So I uh, will do a little bit of back and forth. I'll go to uh, here. So the first choice is a call forwarding. We want it to go directly to a mobile phone. We want to show, we, we want to reach someone directly to a cell phone. The second choice of the IVR, so the IVR is uh, welcome to uh, accounting firm um, to speak with the uh, with uh, Jeanette, please uh, press one and and so on. So the option one will call directly to her or to that person um, to directly on on their so cell phone. The option option two is a call on pin. It will try to call the various devices or va various option one after the other. It could be a random order or it could be a, a sequential order. And the third option is a ring group. It will try to call. Uh, various devices or software all at the same time and, and make ring all them simul simultaneously. So for each for each option, so call forwarding, call on thing, and ring group, I'm going to show you where to go and how to configure them in short. So for the call forwarding, like I said, everything is basically under um, it, it under uh, the ID number. So you will be able to to select call forwarding and send the call forwarding to the good person, the good number of your choice. After that, the ring group and the call on thing. In this case, I did choose uh, I did choose to send them to cell phone uh, directly. So. To be able to build uh, the perfect phone system, you will need to build up at first your sub account because the the cell phone, the devices, the, the IP phone on your desk will will always gonna be connected to your your sub account. Sub account is managing um, the connection between VoIP.ms and the devices. So the devices in this case, uh, I call that a generic name. So accounting and support. So what what you have to do is go there, create a sub account, simply fill up uh, the form here, enter all the inf needed information, and just go through. At the bottom of the page, you also have internal extension number. That's going to be useful if you want your uh, employees to be able to call between each other. They will be able to call by entering on your on their phone just their internal extension number directly without having to go through uh, all the, the, the IVR and, uh, and all stuff. So you can also link an, an internal uh, extension voicemail. You can link um, pretty much everything you want to it. Once done, you will be able to, uh, once your each user sub account will be created, you will have a list here on their manage Sub account, and you will be able to start build, continue the building of your 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 IVR and phone system. You can go to Ring Group or Call and Think, depending uh, of your choice, and you can create a new Ring Group. When you're creating a new Ring Group, it's gonna ask you um, which member you wish to which member you wish to to add to their their member uh, of this member of the group. Once it's done, 
um, you will be able to select also a voicemail. So if the ring group doesn't answer, it's going to go to the general voicemail or not, depending on your choice. There's also an option. Here it's press 1. So if it's a call forwarding, maybe you, you don't want um, the system to continue the call to the personal voicemail of your employee. Um, if, if they don't press 1 when they're answering the, they answer the call, the system will not uh, recognize it as entered. So it will just continue to ring. After that, we have the callback, callback feature. Uh, not callback, sorry. Call on thing. Call on thing, it's like I said, it's going to make ring one uh, party after the other. So you can have uh, a couple of different members. Uh, it could be a phone, it could be a call forwarding, it could be also another group. So it, here again, it's all, uh, also flexible. You can do a, a follow order or a random order. So if it's a follow order, it will be it will ring member one and member two. If you do random, of course, it's going to be random. There's a lot of uh, various other feature um, that I will not go through here, but you can do uh, a recording before a hunting. So it can say, uh, please wait before. Uh, please wait before we can we transfer your your call to the or we're looking for the person you try to reach or any recording that you did upload to your account. And yes, um, to build up your IVR, you need to rec to upload a recording before you're doing so. After that, once you have your call forwarding, your ring group, and your column thing. You're good to go. You can go back to your IVR selection and finish to route the call to the appropriate department or appropriate ring group or appropriate um, selection of your choice. The only remaining uh, feature that you need to know how to set up because it's going to be complete with it is the voicemail. In the voicemail, you can create various uh, voicemail, one for each user if you wish to. You can uh, only a general voicemail for everybody. Um, it's really depending on uh, how operationally speaking, how you want to manage all this. So when you're building up uh, your voicemail, you have a various option. Um, voicemail number could be the internal extension, could be pretty much everything you wish to. Uh, the name is for your own use. The password you select it, you select it it's really uh, to access the, uh, the voicemail from uh, any uh, devices. And the email notification. So you can receive the voicemail in WAV format or MP3 uh, by email. So when you receive, uh, you, you can receive it in, uh, on your email box and listening, uh, listen directly to it. Maybe the last thing, um, maybe the last thing uh, that's really important to do is the DID, the phone number. With us, you can either uh, port a phone number or order a phone number. So when you want to order a phone number, or a DID number, you can select the country of your choice, um, say for Canada, for instance, um, Quebec, select the country, uh, not a country, uh, a city of your choice, look at the numbers available, select one numbers, and you select the pop of your choice. The pop of your DID needs to be the, the same one as your uh, your cell phone or devices is registered. So if you select Montreal 9 here, you will need to uh, make sure that your software or IP phone will be connected on the same on the same server you know, to be synchronized. After that, you need to choose the routing. The routing will be how you will uh, route the call when someone is calling, simply as it is. So in my drawing concept, uh, I want the call to go through the time condition first. 
and the time condition will send a call to the IVR or the voicemail depending if it's matched the criteria and and so on. So it's gonna flow to the specific department and so on. After that we have some failover option. With a failover option uh, you can change your routing strategy uh, depending on few criteria. If it's buzzy, unreachable or if there's no answers. If there's no answers um, or any other criteria, you can maybe change it to uh, a call forwarding, so like this you don't miss any call, or a voicemail, or where, wherever, whatever your choice uh, want it to be. So like, like this, it prevents you to miss any call for a reason. Let's say you build up your phone system with a cell phone solution, and your cell phone is not open on your computer. So you will be able to you will be able to select this um, you will be able to select th this option to make sure you don't miss any call. And once it's done, you click here to confirm, and you will have your phone number listed into Manage GID here. If later you want to make some change to it, you want to uh, send a call directly to a voicemail because it's holiday season and. Uh, you, you you don't answer the phone for two weeks, so you will be able to to send it directly. Um, I see a couple of questions that is entering right now, and uh, I will be pleased to answer them all. <laughs> so uh, uh, so just at the end, but yeah, uh, I can go back to cover the backup uh, tab. Backup uh, the backup, or you were. You, I think you were thinking of a uh, failover option. Um, yes, I will provide a, a, a recording of the webinar and uh, Toby, if if you can tell me if it's the one you would like me to elaborate on. Okay, perfect. So the routing uh, with the fa failover option is really uh, just to, depending the state of your phone or if it's busy because everybody uh, are on the phone, uh, it's gonna make you will be able to to change the setting to make sure that you, you don't miss any call. Uh, you can change that at any time uh, from manage the ID, and you will be able to select your your edit the ID here. So the other part uh, that you could, the, the other thing you could do instead of ordering a new DID, um, it's to port a phone number. If you want to try or service, if you want to build up um, a phone system with us without to port your phone number right away, a strategy a lot of uh, our customers want to do to try or service first is to order a DID to us and do a call, build up their phone system with us uh, with their temporary phone number here, and they're gonna do a call transfer from their current provider to us. Like this, they are uh, fully confident uh, that the service worked well as they wish to, and uh, they are able to uh, make some tweak and configuration and um, really build it up how uh, they are pleased with it. So when it's done, after that, uh, they, they, they transfer the phone number. So to try to to try the service, you can just uh, order a DID transfer, your, uh, do a call transfer to that DID from your current provider, and once everybody is is good for you, you can port a phone number. If you wish to port a phone number, the process is uh, pretty simple. It's a couple of steps. You only need uh, to make sure that check availability for a phone number. Once uh, you know that we can transfer your phone number uh, and we have a large footprint across North America so uh, from time to time maybe your area will not be covered but it's it will be rare that 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 is the case and once you know that it's 
it's feasible that you can port the phone number to us, you can start the procedure. Uh, when you start the procedure, it's a couple of steps, um, maybe four or five steps. Uh, you just need to provide some information from your current provider, your uh, billing information of your current provider, and upload uh, an invoice uh, that you did hand sign it and just confirm the order. The process usually takes up to five business days. Uh, it can be more long, but it's the average delay, delay is between uh, three and five business days. Uh, that's what we experience uh, most of the time. Like I said, you can also port international phone number. But for uh, local Canada and uh, local United States, every phone number that you will port to us until the 30th of June, you will be able, you will get a dollar uh, a dollar of a uh, uh, free uh, credit into your account uh, just because you did port your phone number to us. It's a little gift that we we think it's nice to to have. So basically, once everybody and once everything it's it's set up, you will have only to register the devices. So the soft phone. It, that's pretty much the last step. So in this case, I did register um, two various cell phones. So Grand Stream Wave on my cell phone and Zoiber on my laptop. So I could I could call uh, one to the other. It could be three various uh, cell phones, Bria, uh, Grand Stream, Zoiber, uh, Portugal. There, there's a ton of um, available available uh, cell phone on the market. You can really pick the one you like, uh, depending on your budget, um, the functionality you like. It, it's really, it, it's, there's, there's something for everybody here. A lot of businesses now turn, turn their, their phone system into a virtual phone system like this, uh, because there's no maintenance fee. Uh, you don't need to have buy new devices, you don't need to buy uh, equipment, it's really virtual, it's flexible, you can work work from wherever you are. Um, so I think it's the future for the phone ser service uh, at large. I think um, it's really the way to go for businesses. Um, most of my customer that I deal with prefer now to go with cell phone solution instead of a, a device on desk solution. But um, it doesn't uh, restrain you to use both. If you want to have a hybrid solution, you can do both. You can have a hybrid solution and it, work, it will work perfectly uh, with all services. So that's pretty much it to how to build the service. Uh, I'll finish with a couple of uh, tabs that I should present here. So here it's every feature we can enable in the service. I present you today just a, a small phone system like like uh, probably 80% of the business would, would like to have. Uh, but if you want to have more complex solution, you can really uh, match up a lot of features all together. Um, so I often say the creativity is often the limit here. There's some technical limit, but still, uh, it's pretty flexible. You can uh, add up a lot of features together and make a, a, a big phone service really seamlessly. After that, uh, maybe there's another tab, the call detail record. It's where you can uh, see all the call that that has been made uh, during during a certain period. So you can go back. Uh, I think it's it's a month uh, month per month. In the past, uh, or after that, um, there's support tab here. You can, uh, it's the direct link to the wiki. Uh, also, uh, you can open a new ticket here. Configuration sample, account information, basic information, but really useful. And uh, one last thing about those tabs, it's the, the referral program. If you already have uh, Void Dynamics services, you can refer uh, friends or co-worker to or services by sharing your, your, your link. 
So if you refer a friend, you will both receive ten dollar in, in vote Venomous credit, and uh, as up to twenty five dollar per referral. It's really easy to to share. They just need to sign up with your uh, invite link. Some of the others. Um, just gonna read a question here. I have a question about value be, between value option and premium premium option. Um, this is um, in in your sub account. It's for the outgoing call. So you have two options for Canada only. Uh, Canada and international. In fact, the premium routing is really um, top tier uh, routing quality. The sound will be really nice, but even the value, the the sound, uh, it's probably it, there, there's nothing really a big difference uh, between the the premium and the value on the, the the call quality itself. It's mostly about the caller ID. Uh, in the routing, in the value routing, um, it, it's gonna uh, it's gonna help you to have yeah a better rate like uh, half a cent per minute. Uh, but the only the only thing that really change is the call ID. Uh, maybe some sometimes the call ID will not go through. Uh, it's a routing uh, technical question in in the back end. But um, a lot of customers use it and the call ID go through. It, you just have to do some testing to just make sure it it, it fit your need. Um, so the premium versus the value, there's not a, a, a big, big step between all those. But um, if you want to make sure that you have the maximum call quality and also uh, the best uh, the, the, the caller ID that is going to pass through, um, you can use it with uh, premium. Can we set up a fax, faxing with Void Vitamins? Yes, you could. You can. So with a fax, I'll go a little bit over uh, because I have a question here. So in a virtual fax, you can set up uh, a fax number, you can order a fax number, and you can build up a virtual fax. So you can send and receive fax uh, virtually. So you can receive a fax through your email, and you can send them with your uh, email client at Outlook. So you could, uh, it's not too much complicated to build up. Um, you just need to order a fax number and uh, set it set it up. Uh, if you want to send a fax from your email, uh, you will send a fax at at uh, fax at void.ms, and in the um, subject in the in the uh, in the subject uh, of your email, it's gonna be the uh, the phone number you want to send the, the fax to. T thirty eight. T yeah, it's not um, it's not T one three eight. It's T thirty eight. But yes, uh, we have T thirty eight uh, for for most of our right sensors enabled. Um, and if you have an ATA box that uh, that works with T thirty eight, it's gonna work too. Uh, you will be able to connect an ATA box uh, directly with 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 a fax number and receive fax to it. Uh, I, I suggest you to go to the wiki and read the facts uh, section to it because there's uh, some technical uh, detail that 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 uh, it would be preferable. Yeah, uh, for a traditional facts, uh, yeah, usually the best way would be to uh, have a, an APA box that supports T38 and uh, connect the APA, the analog telephone adapter, uh, with the long name. Uh, to it, just to, to, to connect the, the old fax machine to it. Not freaking anymore, but it still exists, so <laughs> there's a solution uh, to it. Uh, it's not perfect because we are VoIP services and fax services, it's analog based, uh, and IP and analog doesn't match uh, too great sometimes, but if you have the, the, a good device, then it, it, it should work there without problem. Just gonna read the question. So yeah, I will. Uh, we'll jump to the Q and A already. It's gonna be uh, 
easier this way. So just uh, I have a, I have a couple of questions that I skipped uh, earlier because I was uh, in the presentation. Um, So um, if you want to round the call to a different pop, you can select uh, in your DID, you can, and you can uh, select the same pop, but with a failover option, you can uh, send a call um, with a failover option. So like this, you, you don't uh, miss any call. Um, I want to pay. We do not offer fixed monthly. Uh, I have a question about the fixed monthly costs uh, for outgoing call, for example. Uh, we do not offer uh, outgoing call at a fixed monthly price. Uh, but we also, but we have a virtual PRI for incoming at uh, monthly costs uh, with with uh, the predefined channel. Uh, it's useful if you receive uh, not uh, a lot of simultaneous call, but a long call duration. And it doesn't match with the call conference room, but uh, for normal basic operation, uh, when you receive a lot of call, it can be used for it. And also, uh, if I didn't answer your question today, uh, uh, feel free to send me an email after. Yeah, it will be a pleasure to uh, either schedule a call with you or, or or I will answer your question by email yeah, just to make sure because some, some question or uh, really related for the, your 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 situation uh, directly so it's it's not a really overall situation. It will be diff difficult for me to answer it right now. Um, we have a, I have a question about um, if you have a customer, if you're reselling your service uh, to access uh, a sub-account, is own billing. Uh, we have a reseller portal, and uh, probably uh, we will have another session about uh, how to manage your reseller, uh, your reseller services, or if you want me to show you how to do it, uh, simply uh, send me an email and we will schedule a, schedule a meeting for, for for the reseller portal, it's really a, a narrow topic, uh, and uh, I would have uh, maybe an hour in front of me <laughs> just to explain uh, every uh, option in it. So um, yeah, feel free to send me an email. And uh, yeah, call parking—it's a way often requested feature. We're working on it, so it's gonna be available. Uh, I cannot give an APA right now, but uh, it's something we work on it. Do you support an integration? We uh, are working with uh, with various uh, CRM for integration as well. Um, so it's going to be uh, something uh, we we want to work with. Uh, we don't have a lot of demand on it, uh, to be honest, but it's still something that uh, we would like to have. Uh, Um, I have a question about uh, prioritizing the VoIP uh, in a router uh, with the QoS, I guess. Um, I'm not a, a fully technical uh, person to explain how to prioritize or do a Q QoS in a router. Uh, VoIP services don't really need a lot of bandwidth, so it could be a good thing to enable some QoS to it. But I think, uh, I think I'm not the perfect person to explain how to do it. Uh, so uh, if you have question about that, you can um, you, you can simply uh, reach out to support or uh, or chat. They will uh, probably have a more answer about that for for you. 
uh, in, in terms of uh, internet connection speed uh, for 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 home services, uh, it's something like 10 megabyte per second could be could be way enough. So uh, it's really not heavy on the bandwidth. Uh, even uh, in satellite internet service provider uh, provides some VoIP services. It's not so great, but they do. So uh, I don't recommend you to use VoIP on satellite, but if if, if it's your only option, it could work, but not the not the not the best connection. Um, okay, uh, I have a comment about uh, that that somebody is doing some QoS on uh, port uh, 5060. So uh, I think there's a, a good answer here. Okay, any other question I can answer right away? Um, install we don't we do not install uh, any equipment we are a citron or a void connection between your equipment and uh, and the service so um, I, I cannot say uh, that what will be the procedure of installing um, your router before your switch or uh, so Another question uh, here about the uh, Microsoft team. Uh, yes, uh, we have a. We just released a new partnership with Call to Teams. It's um, virtual SBC that will manage the connection between VoIP data, VoIP MS and Microsoft Team. So yes, you can use Microsoft Team with VoIP MS in direct dialing. It's something you can do, and uh, it's really uh, easy to set up. Uh, you can go on uh, or wiki again. Uh, there's a lot of information about Microsoft Team uh, with the, the, the um, call to team integration. But we also did one with um, audio code recently. Uh, the other code is a more heavy one. Um, I think uh, it's for bigger enterprise. Call to team is for SMB uh, and uh, small enterprise. So call to team is prob probably uh, uh, one of the, uh, the good product you can use. Other questions? Okay, so if there's no other question at the moment, um, I think that sums it up. Uh, please uh, feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, you will receive the presentation uh, by email uh, afterward. Uh, you will have my contact detail. You can reach out to me directly uh, if you have questions, if you want to speak uh, about your services with Boyd uh, I will be pleased to schedule a meeting with you. So please feel free to do it. And um, if you have questions uh, overall for configuring anything, uh, go to wiki.boyddynamis uh, and also feel free to chat with or support team. Uh, I think they are really responsive and they will help you out uh, a little bit better than me. <laughs> Great. So thank you all to coming to uh, VoIP uh, first webinar. It's really appreciated. Uh, I have a really uh, great audience uh, right now. So 
Um, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, remember that we have a promotion for the boarding uh, services, and uh, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me directly. Have a nice day, everybody. Thanks.